Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, the first video of 2021, um, I'm doing more Python. I started 2020 out with Python, so I'm going to start again 2021 with Python. I recorded this video before 2021, but either way, um, um, it's still going to come out in 2021. And it's going to be on the first day, I believe, hopefully. Or even the day before that, it just depends um, on how well I can finish it. So with that being said, let's get started on what we're going to talk about. So first, make a new Python file. Um, you can title it whatever you want, but I titled it userinput.py. This is because whatever we're learning today is something called user input. User input is exactly what it implies. It allows the user, it prompts the user to put information into the terminal. That way it will give an answer back to us. So that's all it really does. It just prompts the user to input something and, it will, it will, and the terminal will give us back an answer. So let's go ahead and make user input. This is a really short video on how to do user input in Python. It's not hard. It is extremely simple to learn, but not, not just write the code, understand how the code works. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put a name for this. Um, I like to call it a variable, but this is the name of it. This birthday is going to signify whatever the user puts in. It can be anything, but um, in this case, what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to ask the user, I'm trying to prompt the user to input their birthday. So they're going to input something along the lines of a, a month, a day, and a year. So I went ahead and I put birthday to sh to, because I'm trying to prompt the user to answer what, when is their birthday. So after that, we then need to put input. Input is going to prompt the user to make an answer. Without input, then it won't prompt the user to put an answer. It will just be a line of code that executes. It won't prompt the user to do anything. So after that, we can then ask what we want. We want them to enter the birthday. So let's say, what is your birthday? Or when is your birthday, I should say. So when is your birthday? As simple as that. So this inside is what we're gonna ask the user. So um, before the user inputs something, we're gonna make the terminal ask a question. We're gonna make it ask something before it answers because you don't know, like as you, as the user, let's say for example, you're the user, um, you're gonna be confused. You don't know what they're asking for. They're just gonna tell you to put something, but you don't know what they're asking for. So that's why I have went ahead and I included this because this is going to ask the question. That's what we want the user to put in. They could put anything else, but they're most likely going to put their birthday because that's what we're asking for. After that, let's go ahead and say a print statement. We don't have to indent because um, the code already stops compiling after input and it allows the user for a response. So the print statement is essentially what is going to come after. So let's say my birthday is, and then after that, let's say plus birthday because birthday signifies whatever the user put inside. It signifies whatever the user put. So let's say the user put like January 1st of 2021. Then that's what's going to go in here. Hopefully that makes sense. So that is pretty much going to signify birthday and it's going to kind of substitute that in. So then it's just gonna, then once you, input once you put in an information then it's just going to go ahead and say my birthday is and then january 1st 2021 so hopefully that makes sense birthday just signifies whatever the user inputs so let's go ahead and save and open a terminal you can also open command prompt um, it doesn't really matter honestly both of them do the same job so now we need to compile it. we need to compile it so user input uh, py that's the name of the file, and then we need py. Okay, so now the terminal asks us a question. The question is, when is your birthday? I'm gonna say February 7th, 2003. By the way, this is not my real birthday. 
Um, I'm just putting a random birthday. So then we will go ahead, press enter. And then it's going to say my birthday is February 7, 2003. And it's as simple as that. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I want to summarize what we did here. It's pretty simple. So first we added a variable called birthday. Birthday is essentially whatever the user types. So in this case, I type February 7, 2003. Um, that is going to go in birthday. That's going to, that's what birthday is. That's a variable that stands for what the user puts in. So what birthday is going to do is that we said plus birthday because we're going to add that into here. We're going to add that in here. So we're going to say my birthday is February 7, 2003. I don't think we need this colon, but it honestly doesn't matter. It still does the same thing. Um, My birthday is February 7, 2003. So it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, we can even get rid of this. That colon will just allow space in between. So like that. And then and it just says my birthday is February 7, 2003. As simple as that. So that's what birthday did. After that, um, we added something called input. Input is what's going to allow the user to put in something. So that's what we did. The user is going to put something. And then after that, we're going to add a print statement. And the print statement is essentially going to, it's essentially what the terminal is going to show us after the user input something. So this is what the terminal showed us and it filled in for whatever the user input for their birthday. So hopefully that makes some sense. Um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.